Hello everyone and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be showing you how to paint shoes or how I paint shoes anyway and uh, see if we can get a little bit of a close up here of all the details uh, I do take some pride in doing these I like to add a lot of detail and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I do that uh, so as you can see in the video running in the background right now um, you can see the process of this and if you'd like to see the full video showing you uh, the drawing the actual creating of this then uh, I will link that in the description it will be the top link um, but yeah let's get started then so we're gonna move this to the side here and uh, the first thing I'm gonna bring out is our primer so this right here is um, gesso and it doesn't have to be this one it doesn't have to be white gesso it can be clear gesso it can be whatever you prefer but what you want to do is you want to add a thin layer of this to the surface that you want to paint. So uh, in this example, I, I've um, layered the entire base. And um, I can show you an example of what the gesso looks like when it's layered down. You get sort of this white base here. And it's pretty easy to draw on. It's almost like paper. Um, so it's pretty, pretty easy to draw on. Uh, erases very well. If you make a mistake, you need to erase it. It does go very well. Uh, and once you've got this layer down, uh, I'd like to do two layers. You can do whatever you want. Um, between drying times, I take about 10 minutes. Um, you can, again, take as long as you'd like. Uh, but yeah, once you've got that completely dry, start drawing. So get a normal pencil and just draw as you normally would. Draw the design out that you'd like. And um, I would also recommend, if I can, uh, this eraser. And that's a Derwent electric eraser. And the reason I recommend this is because, one, it's electronic. But because of this very precise erasing um, eraser thing, the focus isn't really going to get it, is it? Not really. But basically, it will give you precision when you're erasing, and you're going to really need that because you're going to make a few mistakes on something like this. It's, it's quite hard to draw on these. Uh, I won't lie. So once we've got our designs done and our base is done, we move on to the paints. Now, the paints I use are the Angelus brand paints. Here's one of them, Andrus brand. And um, the skin tones that I use are a combination of vanilla, tan, and brown. Now you can use um, whichever color you prefer, whichever one, whichever combination uh, you prefer. I like this combination and uh, this works well for me. Uh, the ratio that I mix them together, yeah, shh, quiet. But you know, yeah. <laughs> just um, see what works out for you and do it to the best of your ability. Now, what I would recommend doing is uh, when you get your vanilla, do work in sections. And as you can see in the video, I work in sections. I do a vanilla base and I work in, let's just say I want to do the biceps. I'll do the bicep and once the bicep's done, I'll immediately start shading the bicep and get that done. Then I'll move on to the tricep. Then I'll move on to the shoulder. Then I'll move on to the... And I always try to do the back part before doing the foreground, which is something I would always recommend. Always figure out what is in the furthest background area what's going to be overlapping always do that bit first then go on top so for example the chest here is the furthest part then it'll be the neck then it'll be this part of the neck or well, the throat should i say then it'll be the neck uh, then it'll be the back then it'll be the shoulder and so on you just keep moving forward like that um that's why you see i take it takes me a while to get around to the hair because the hair is usually in front of everything else except for the face but some parts can be ahead of the face so yeah um, regarding the background, what I used in this specific one was an air gun, an airbrush gun. Now, here's my airbrush gun. Uh, it's a very cheap one that I got from um, Amazon. Uh, pretty much the cheapest one that allows an attachment. So whichever one that is, you'll find that. And um, they're quite easy to use. Uh, they do take a little bit of practice, but I've only used them a handful of times, maybe five times, six times. And I've got um, great results, as you can see with the um, electric, uh, which I'll zoom in for you to... You might have to turn your heads to the side. If you're using a mobile, it shouldn't be a problem. Or if I can get the... There you go, I caught the focus. So the electric's pretty nice, and I used it for the, um, the Kamehameha at the back, and uh, also to get the glare. Now, to get this glare, what I did was I got a, a roll of sellotape, and I sprayed the inside of the little circle, sprayed the inside um, just so the after uh, sort of like, uh, I can't remember the word, the overspray uh, hit the hit the actual thing. Now regarding paintbrushes, because uh, this is a topic I get a lot, which is um, what brushes do I use? Well, to be honest, I have no idea. I am completely illiterate when it comes to brushes. I don't know what a brush is. I don't know what's a good brush, what's a bad brush. 
basically I've got this which is like a 10 out of 0 and like a 5 out of 0 very tiny uh, these are what I use for my outlines uh, this one more for the highlights this one more for the outlines and then I have uh, thicker brushes so this one which I used for the sort of main thing which is two and uh, then you get this one which I use to layer all the black down which you didn't see in the video but uh, this is number six and I use that for just putting the black down uh, what I would also recommend guys because I didn't do this in this video I didn't know what I was gonna do initially um, do the background first and here's a little secret tip I'm gonna give you I have got this stuff which there it is it's a masking uh, paste now I don't know what this one's called I think it's just called a masker film or something uh, sorry I just moved to Germany and um, I'm still coming to grips with the language but this is basically like a masking film uh, you can get it uh, yeah I think it's just called a masking film a masking paste um, but yeah get this stuff and all you've got to do is apply a, a little layer thin layer or a thick layer whichever one you want over the areas that you don't want paint to get on which will be all the edges. Once you've done that, paint freely the background, do what you want with the background, and then all you've got to do is just run your finger across it and it will peel straight off. It's just like a sunburn, dry skin. You just peel it right off. And then the the actual work is crisp, crystal clear. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, always do the background first because you will be putting something on top of the background. Uh, that being said, I didn't do it here and it worked out luckily okay. The edges look great. Um, but yeah, outlining. I use a brush all the time for my outlines. Uh, just get you close up here. There you go. I always use a brush for my outlines. Now, I chose not to outline the skin on this one because I really like the way it looked. I did outline the ear and the nose area just to sort of add the definition there. Uh, regarding the hair, I don't outline the hair because I think it, it flows better if there's no outline. Uh, if you outline the hair, it doesn't really have that nice hair sort of look to it. But Definitely use a brush for an outline. I wouldn't use a pen. These shoes, guys, are completely water resistant. Uh, they're weather resistant, and you can wear them outside. I used to play football in my shoes, which were Converse's, and they withstood the, uh, the test of time. They're in pretty good condition. But, um, yeah, guys, if you want to, at the end, you can add a sealant. And here is the sealant that I use. It's a matte finisher. Now, I don't always use this, and actually, I haven't used it for a very long time. Uh, but this will add extra protection. It also adds a little bit of shine. You can get the matte one, you can get the satin, or you can get the gloss. So, um, I like the matte because it doesn't really provide too much of a reflection, especially when taking photos. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Um, that was like a Forrest Gump reference. Well, that's all I have to say about that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it does help people. And I'm sorry that it's not so much of a tutorial as so much of a talking video. But um, hopefully the supplies will help you more than watching me. Probably not. But, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.